So I'm Professor Daryl Newpool. I never use the John, unfortunately. It's not one of those things I like to bring out. Um, but um, I'm, I'm Director of the Sustainability Research Institute at the University of East London. Um, I've been a director for the last 14 years now at um, the SRI and um, it's, I've actually been at the University of East London for some since 1993 so uh, we're looking at 27 years which is a long time but um, I started there as a student some time ago and um, I enjoyed East London so much that I've stayed there since that um, since that uh, moment in time. But um, I, I've i been, as part of the university, I've actually, I started off in the engineering department and um, I worked through, um, and I actually have my first degree is in survey and mapping sciences. And I worked in the engineering department as a lecturer and senior lecturer um, in delivering on the engineering surveying side. Um, uh, but my research, Actually, my research started some time ago around um, uh, a European, a pan-European project, which was looking at uh, emplacement of uh, vehicles for road construction, which um, was quite a large project. But actually, my own personal area of research in terms of the environment, environment actually took over um, quite quickly after that. And um, in 2001, I... Um, I started a program of research around manufactured aggregate using waste materials, uh, which still remain, remained in the construction area and the engineering aspect of that work. But, and I've built that up um, gradually over the last um, sort of 19, 14 to 19 years uh, into a much wider um, research area. And the development of the Research Institute actually brings a number of those areas together. So there's a little bit of an introduction to what, how, where I am and what I do at this moment in time. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. So, so in terms of uh, coming back to the Institute and I think as a background in terms of uh, your academic work. So could you tell us about the University of East London? Because I think there's a lot of universities in London, probably East London University is not the most well known, but you're doing a fantastic work. And I think it's good as well to highlight that uh, first, if you could tell us about the university and uh, the benchmarks and what you've been doing. Um, well, the University of, of East London has actually been around for um, over 100 years. Um, it's a new university, so in 1992 it took university status. Um, and we, uh, previous to that, we were, um, I think, the, uh, well, I know the name was uh, North East London Polytechnic. And it was a, um, it was a collaboration of a number of um, colleges within East London uh, from north northeast and um, from Barking and Dagenham and through to West Ham, and they came together to come uh, t together as the North East London Polytechnic, and then um, it was then set up as a university uh, in 1992. Um, we have a number of um, schools. We have uh, six schools. We have um, which uh, uh, and we have uh, in the region of. 12,000 students, but we were up at one time to 26,000 students worldwide. So we have, we're a global university. We have, um, we have campuses in Russia, in Malaysia, uh, and um, we do a lot of work in Australia and New Zealand as well. And actually, and, I, I'm, and we're working with Yuzhong, I've actually, I had a research facility at Chongqing University in China as well for, for um, for a period of time, but the university is um, it's 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 based. Um, our main campus is actually at um, Docklands and is opposite City Airport. Um, and we have it's it's our larger campus, and we've got fifteen hundred students who actually live on the campus. And um, we have a number of research um, facilities and uh, schools uh, on that campus. Our other main campus is at Stratford and very close to the Olympic Park. So, um, and that campus, um, I mean, if you want to, I can break down the, um, the actual schools and the type of um, work that we do. But I mean, um, we have schools that deal with health, sport and biosciences. So sports is obviously quite important in East London, especially around the Olympic Games. Um, 
we have uh, business and law that are actually based uh, just out, uh, just in uh, outside of Stratford Station and the, the Olympic Park in Stratford. And we have social sciences, we have engineering, um, architecture and computing at Docklands. And we also have, have um, art and the digital, digital industries at Docklands as well. <laughs>